All right, everyone, welcome back to Crack and Flip. Today we got Revolt, a full booster box. We're gonna crack this thing open, see what we get. Now uh, I'm gonna try to go through this as fast as I can. Hopefully, I don't have to divide this up into two separate parts. Should be one video, but you know how to transition in it. Just because my memory card might not hold it all. So we got our box going right here. We're gonna be opening some stuff up right now. 36 packs. Uh, we all know what the prices are right now. Our goal is 105. It's gonna be on the top right corner. And let's get cracking. Um, gonna skip the commons. We got a lot to go. All right, salvager, barricade breaker, bam. Fatal Push in our first pack. Four dollars, that's awesome. Oh, another one, man. Expertise. Another good rare. We're doing pretty good already. Give me a second as I reorganize everything. Alright. Gonna show everything that's above two dollars. For the rares, I'll show things that are a dollar. Only because I can make play sets of them after I open enough of this stuff. So those would count. Alright. Here's a good card, I believe two dollars. And we got our first foil. Dawn Feather Eagle. First uncommon foil. Or first common foil. Good shot. Good uh good start. You know, in your comments, uh, put down your deck guesses for what you think is going to spike in price here. You know, what's going to be awesome. Foundry Hornet, Will Smith, Hungry Flames, Midnight, and Trigger Age. Uh, not a good rare, but still. Let's see how that goes. Right. Come on, pack. We can go renegade. A lot of talks about this for green deck. Here's that part of cat lady right there, the guardian. First mythic, ether heart. Um, not a pricey mythic at all, but I do believe this will probably go up in price. Not my running horse, not my pick, but uh, I feel like it will. I feel like it will. There's a couple super low mythics that uh, I think are going to stay there forever. Walking Ballista, $6 rare going up in price. Great rare pull. Alright. Cool Renegade Rallyer. An uncommon that may go up in price at some point. Crackdown Construct, another powerhouse combo. Quicksmith Rebel, and Rogue as our first uncommon foil. You know that, uh, that, um, uh, Fatal Push, you guys seen the price on the, on the foil of that one? Almost $30. That's pre sale price. But I mean, if you pull one of those in your pack, you're way more likely to. Another Renegade. Green Wheel Liberator. Another Foil. Silk Weaver Elite. Look at that artwork. It's so awesome. 40 cent land. Gotta be happy with 40 cent lands. <clears throat> one second, guys, as I throw all my trash commons. This side. <clears throat> All right. What's we got here? Oop. Dismissal. Life Crafter. Patrol. And a Hope. Not one of the rares at all. Some of these rares I haven't even seen because 
I usually don't venture too far from the top dollar cards. So some of these rares are new to me. Herbalist, the Riders, Ariel, and there we go. I think this is the highest value rare still. Awesome. <coughs> Doing pretty good. If you guys seen my tips video, I kind of showed you like a little formula to calculating prices of a box. A very optimistic price of a box. And uh, another fatal push. Fatal push number two. Will we get a third one? Oh man. Disappointing, but still, the Basker are mythic. I think this is going to be the price forever, so unfortunately, I don't think that's going to go up. I do collect one of every card to have a complete set, so that's probably going to go into my collection right away. Disappointing. But, uh, another cat lady. Secret Salvage is the rare. So yeah, I apply that uh, little formula, the little formula to uh, this box here. And a very optimistic look, which we aren't hitting because we got low value mythics there, um, was about a little over $100. Metal Mimic. So this, this one, $4 right now, everyone expects to hit way higher than that. Talk to a card shop guy. There's one in every box, right? Talk to a card shop guy about that card. Um, yeah, he's he's already getting quite a few calls for people. Dark. Quite a few calls from people that they uh, they want place it to those. <coughs> so I expect that price to jump up on that one. That's pretty pretty good. This is a rare, so it's not gonna go too high. Inspiring Sanctuary, another undervalued rare, I think. It should uh should get there. It should get there. But Mimic, I guess, is the, the star rare right now. Renegade, that's going to be a good place set to sell. And you got the Mire. <clears throat> All right. Still got that full rare out there. Hopefully we'll uh, pull that Mythic. You know what, there's always that invention you can pull, man. Get to pull an invention on camera. Scrap. Twaller. Pretty cool card. Pretty cool card. I don't think it's worth uh, throwing out any other card though for it. Come on, fatal push, right? You know, I'm disappointed that this card isn't better. She was the cover art for the for the promo. Mythic and the Archangel. Third mythic of the box. Maybe their last mythic. Hopefully we have another another one. At least one high dollar one. You know. At least a good ten dollar one, right? Let's get that foil. Gremlins. Another two dollar rare, the Rampager. Pretty good rares, and we think we're only missing two are missing a couple of the top dollar ones. But we found the two top ones at least. Alright. This Barricade Breaker again, and there's another Mythic. Four Mythics. This, a Planeswalker. In a 40 cent land. Awesome. Planeswalker. Four. Planeswalker. That's four Mythics for this box. Let's have five. Shall we? Okay. 
Okay, another Renegade. A lot of Renegades in this set. The Land, Spire of Industry. Great land. Gonna be a good card. You know, Mythics are kind of disappointing price-wise in this set. But I feel like the rares are only like at five dollars right now. They'll pull it out. I think they'll they'll come up. I think there'll be some value in here. Not this card, but other cards. Um, they've been undercutting pre-sell a lot. You know, the, usually it's too expensive, but they've been under, undercutting it quite a bit. Smuggler's Copter. I think it was like a six dollar card. Oath. There's a two fifty dollar card right there. Pretty good. Two fifty. Um, Smuggler's Copter. Super undervalued card. When pre-sale was there. And look how much it jumped up to. You know. Um, so it could be there still. You know, value could still be there. Battle at the bridge. Barricade Breaker. Foil. That's got to be worth the pretty penny right there. Great foil to have. Not Fatal Push great, but... And that was our rare. Nope, that's uncommon. My bad. I was thinking Ballista. My bad, guys. My bad. I was thinking Ballista. I got that all wrong. And we got... Expertise... I think it's like a dollar, dollar rare. Not bad. <clears throat> I need to stop saying not bad. Sometimes things go horrible. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the gift. Come on, give us a gift in this pack, then. Aid from the cow. Nope, nothing good there. No gift in that pack. We're almost done with the box here. Making great time. Got the Rogue Infestation. Love this card. Monstrous Onslaught. Awesome. Quicksmith Spy. Good rare. Still haven't hit that foil rare yet. Still hope. Still hope. Let's get that heart as a foil. How's that? Is that too much to ask for? Life Crafter Beastery. Pulled us in pre sale. Was missing that little hollow at the bottom. One of the viewers pointed that out. Thank you for doing that. I would have totally missed that. Come on, let's have a third fatal push. Here we go. Another good rare. Con or common foil. Great foils, man. Foils have just. Been killing it. They've just been really good looking. <clears throat> Got a lot better making foils. Got a boar. Tusker. Oh, here's that bad touch again. Consulate crackdown. Cool. Man, last few packs. Are we not gonna get a foil rare? I'll be so angry. You're really counting on that. Lifecrafter gift, arrest. Oop, there's a foil. Common. Common foil. <clears throat> Down to six packs. We're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Alright, intruder. Thief. Doctor. Recruit as our rare. Alright. Got ourselves a boar again. That was just a mess. Sorry guys. Dreadnought. I swear all the good cards are nice and safe. Free Jam. Awesome name. Sounds like a, a guy knows how to party. Get a Free Jam. He even looks like he's ready to party up there. Could put some turntables underneath him. He's good to go. 
Got the mage, stockpile, giant. Wow! Another mythic. We got both planeswalkers, and there's our rare. Boo! Disappointing. But another mythic. Another mythic, and it's a planeswalker. I believe we got the top rares, I mean, top mythics, except for the highest one. There's our pal, release the gremlins. Except for the highest one, but still, good to go. Making good time. Still got four minutes left to record. Take a slow down here. Construct. Here we go, harvester. Foil land, damn that looks beautiful, look at that. That's awesome foil land. Good cards are nice off the side, this is all the commons. Sorry if that drives you crazy. <clears throat> Next time I'll have my wife help me out and make sure uh, we get this sorted out. I have kind of a small space to work with here. Third fatal push, there you go. Awesome as hell. Third Fatal Push. Duck Hand. 40 Cent Land. Alright guys, that is Revolt, our booster box. I think we did pretty good. We got a lot of cool rares. Three Fatal Pushes. Three awesome Fatal Pushes. Off to the side where they're safe. Two Planeswalkers. Three not so good mythics, but I have a feeling this guy will pop up somewhere. I have a feeling. These guys, yeah, they're pretty much where they're supposed to be, but... There you go, guys. That's Richard from Crack and Flip. If you guys like what you see, subscribe, like it, and good luck to you guys on all your guys' openings and stuff. Hopefully I have more for you, alright? Take care.